Hi, boys and girls. I have a brand new story to read to you today. It is called How Food Gets from Farms to Store Shelves. I thought this was really interesting because we're learning about community helpers, people who help us in our community. And I thought this was really neat because maybe some of you have wondered how all of the food and things at the store get there. Um, something else I want to show you about this book, I want you to look really closely. What kind of pictures do you see? Does it look like pictures somebody drew or painted? Or does it look like pictures somebody took with a camera? If you said pictures somebody took with a camera, I agree with you. This is a nonfiction text or book. Nonfiction means it's going to teach us something, and it's real, all real information. And one of our first clues is because there's real pictures. They're not drawn, and they're not painted. Now, sometimes books that are drawn or have painted pictures, they can be nonfiction, too. They can teach us. But when you see real pictures like this, real photographs, you know for for sure that this is about something real that really happened. Um, so let's take a look how food gets from farms to store shelves. Mm. More real photographs. It looks like wheat growing out in the fields. Oh, this is also very cool. This is something that nonfiction books have. This is a table of contents, and it tells us all the different things we're going to learn about when we listen to this story. That's something nonfiction books have, too. Let's see. Where food comes from. What do you like for breakfast? Milk? Cereal and fruit are favorite breakfast foods. How does this food get from farms to store shelves? Have you ever wondered that? Let's see. The food we eat is raised on farms. Raise your hand if you knew that. Farmers plant and grow crops and fruit. Livestock farmers raise animals for meat or eggs. The cool thing about living in Hilton is that there are lots of farms around, especially apple farms. Do you remember when we went to the apple farm this year? Yeah. Collecting milk. Dairy farmers raise cows for milk. The farmers use machines to get the milk from the cows. See, very close there. That's a milking machine. Milk is collected in tanker trucks. It is processed and packaged into containers. Trucks deliver the containers to stores. There's the big tanker truck. And there's what it looks like when it gets to the store. Or sometimes it comes in big plastic jugs. I've even seen milk in glass bottles before. Making cereal. Farmers harvest crops when they are ripe. That means they pick them. Trucks take corn, oats, wheat, and other cereal grains to mills. The grains are turned into flour. So here's the grains. And there's the flour. You see over here the harvester collecting all of the grain from the fields. That happens first. Food companies buy the flour to make their products. Breakfast cereal is made from cereal grain flour. So there's all the bags of flour. Oh, and I bet you recognize that. Those are all different kinds of cereal. Mm, do you see one that you like to eat? Cereal is packaged into boxes. Workers load them into trucks. Truck drivers deliver the boxes to stores. So here's the trucks. Maybe sometimes when you're on the road, you'll see those kinds of trucks driving. You know they're heading to the store. To the food. And here they are. The boxes are all on the shelves, so we can go to the store to buy them. 
traveling far. That's what this page is about. Bananas and other fruits may take long trips to the store. They get picked, boxed, and loaded onto ships. They travel across oceans. Then trucks bring the fruits to stores. So bananas don't really grow where we are. They have to come to us from long far away on the boats to get here. Working together, farmers grow our food. Truck drivers deliver it to stores. Workers put it on store shelves. Many people work together to get our food from here to there. There's the farmer. Well, she looks pretty happy about her job, doesn't she? Think about all the people that help get our food right here to our dinner tables. So next time you get the store, or even when you sit down to have your next meal, think about where did your food come from and all the people that helped get it there. Thank goodness we have those community helpers to help us, huh?